Another item in the sort of good thing it was a long weekend and lots of Americans weren't watching the news category is that Donald Trump tweeted out a classified image containing sensitive military intelligence. Trump tweeted this on Friday. It was a picture from a classified intelligence briefing in which he's basically taunting Iran over nuclear technology and over a, a, a failed rocket launch, saying, quote, alongside the picture he tweeted, the United States of America was not involved in the catastrophic accident during final launch preparation preparations for the Safir SLV launch at Semnan launch site one in Iran. I wish Iran best wishes and good luck in determining what happened at site one. And as you can see, the tweet went with a picture, a satellite image, and there's more information on the image about what things are. It's a detailed picture. There is, uh, you know, signs pointing to a damaged support vehicle, a damaged gantry service tower. And this was an image from a classified uh, secure uh, intelligence briefing that the president received. That's how those images are labeled. This was a classified satellite surveillance image, and it was very easily amateurs were able to take this image that Trump tweeted and sort of go backwards, reverse engineer that it came from a particular American satellite, USA 224. Now, the fact that we even have this satellite and that these are the types of images it can produce and that it was at a particular location at a particular point in time, that in and of itself is already sensitive information. One of the things that's important in the world of classified information is that you don't want other countries to know what technology we do and don't have and how are we deploying it by publishing this image. Donald Trump is not only publishing classified contents, right? The content of the picture itself is from a classified briefing, but he's exposing to China, to Russia, to whoever else, the exact capabilities of the satellite used to take the picture and its location. Trump is, of course, taking a legalistic approach, and so are his followers saying, I, we had a photo and I released it, said Donald Trump, which I have the absolute right to do, because that's true. He's the president. He can declassify anything he wants. Anything that's classified that the president publishes is sort of de facto declassified. And that's something that he's allowed to do. That's not the important conversation. In fact, that conversation is a total red herring. The question is not, is Trump going to go to prison for tweeting this, even though, by the way, people have gone to prison for uh, 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 distributing images that were gathered by these exact satellites. The issue is, does Trump understand what he's doing? Does Trump endanger the national security of the United States by tweeting this? Is it advantageous to be tweeting this in any geopolitical national security or intelligence sense? And the answer to all of these questions is obviously no. Iran had a failed rocket launch. There are defenders saying a picture had already been made public before Donald Trump tweeted this. Donald Trump tweeted a far higher resolution image with great detail, which exposes much more specifically the satellites that we have are using and their capabilities. Trump is doing it to try to taunt Iran. And in so doing, he's proving himself to be stunningly careless with classified information, which is not a shock. This is actually a trend. Remember when Donald Trump was in the Oval Office. He was visited by a couple of Russians, including a Russian a spy recruiter, uh, Sergei something. I believe it was Sergei Kislyak. And Donald Trump, in order to appear like the big man, he spilled secrets to the Russian spy recruiter that we got from our ally Israel. And of course, then Israel had to say, wait a second, maybe we have to be more careful in telling the United States the information that we have, because Donald Trump thinks only in terms of what will make him look like a big, strong boy, the big boy, the powerful boy on the playground that everybody defers to. It's not about what's good for us. It's not about what's good for others. It's not about what's good for relationships or geopolitics or whatever else. Remember that the right went crazy warning us Hillary can't be trusted. Hillary's emails, Hillary's email server. She's terrible with email and classified this and that. And the exact same people who told us Hillary can't be trusted, the same people who fell for that are defending Donald Trump on this. There are people who have gone to prison for leaking pictures from satellites like this one. Again, it's this is the USA 224 satellite. It's a KH 11 type satellite. And Donald Trump's defenders are not only defending this, they're gleefully defending Trump doing it. 
if you're a foreign adversary, you can actually work backwards from this image to figure out, given that these are the capabilities of the United States satellite, how can we organize ourselves to hide things we are doing from satellites like this one? Once you understand the resolution and the capabilities of this satellite and the way in which it works, you can then start to work around the capabilities of this satellite. This is the height of some combination of and you tell me what proportions it's e e each of these things. This is a combination of arrogance, ignorance, delusions of grandeur, narcissism, cognitive decline, complete lack of responsibility and complete carelessness with sensitive and classified information. And to some degree of just being a bad person who is using all of the elements of the presidency, not just deciding where Mike Pence will stay when he goes to Ireland so that you can make money off of him. I'll tell you about that later in the show, uh, but also using the intelligence community and using classified information and using things like our satellites to try to taunt other countries and appear like the big man on campus. Let me know what you think. Let me know your reaction to all of this. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman. The show is on Twitter at David Pacman show. And remember that we are now streaming live on Twitch uh, on uh, Twitch at twitch.tv slash David Pacman. Uh, remember that Twitch Prime subscriptions don't renew automatically each month. Many hundreds of you signed up for a Twitch Prime subscription for free. If you have Amazon Prime last month, we're now in September. Those have expired. Please go back to twitch.tv. It takes 30 seconds. Subscribe to twitch.tv slash David Pacman with Twitch Prime. It costs you nothing and it counts as a paid subscription for us. It's great to be back. A lot to discuss after the long holiday weekend here in the U.S. and much more of that coming up right after the break.